I created the most brutal tournament in UFC 5. The rules are simple. Five round fights, stand and bang, zero cut resistance, continued damage, and no doctor stoppages. Featuring fighters such as Justin Gagey versus Nate Diaz, Dustin Poirier versus Max Holloway, Conor McGregor versus Peter Yan, and Corey Sandhagen versus Sean O'Malley. Let's see how brutal the new damage system really is. First up, we have Justin Gagey versus Nate Diaz. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules, and hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters do not do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. Get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he drops that straight. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. Fighters realize that we got three or five. From that strike. Just misses with the straight. What a connection right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch lands. All right, so another nice strike. Oh, he might get Nose is just pouring blood right now. One little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken the oh. oh, he is stunned trying to recover here. Oh, let's see if the cut man can do some good work here. Swing and a miss with that punch by Gage. Oh, lands another beautiful. Justin Gagey seals the deal with a brutal right hook, and he's going to go on to the next round. Next up, we got Dustin Poirier versus Max Holloway. We are ready to go here at the start of round one for this stand-up only event, so trackers need not apply. We outlined the rules off the top, but here's your refresher. No grappling of any type. We also point out fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the ground. Let's see if the combatants play by the rules here. As of how good is this end? how many more of these his opponent can take. Mass. Oh, big left. Oh, got him hurt. Got to start looking to finish. Right hand. Oh, his nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, he's got to keep pressing here. The round, you see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose or... Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, he's It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight boots are the ones that get there first, and it got right. Oh, it's still hurt. Look at that. These guys are just Both tough. Both durable. Take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Poirier catches Max Holloway with a counter right hook, and he's moving on to the next round. Next up, we got Conor McGregor versus Peter Yan. Some obvious. 
is bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. His opponent's... Oh, 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 what a beautiful up It landed beautifully perfect. And he throws. Every kick lands. Every kick lands. He's in real trouble now. And back to his feet. Now starting to find himself in the oh, 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 punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle. The one that you don't feel. Nice. his opponent's face. All right, back to this tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there. He would appear to be in real trouble. I landed for Conor McGregor. And landed with 35% accuracy. Conor McGregor knocks out Peter Young with another right hook. This is the third right hook knockout. If you've made it this far in the video, please drop a like and subscribe. And also, please go check out Notorious UFC. He's the originator of this video idea. He's got amazing videos, and after watching them, I was inspired to give this a shot. Next up, we got Sean O'Malley versus Corey Sandhagen. One of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rule set. Not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Prevent it from becoming a factor. O'Malley gets caught by that. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the shot. And he does a great job of doing just that. Oh, he tried to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. That one connected. Man, his body not looking too good. Oh. Sean O'Malley knocks out Sandhagen with a brutal uppercut. He's moving on to the next round. Next up, we got Gagey versus Poirier. This is where things are going to start getting interesting with this continued damage. Let's see how long this fight actually lasts. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last man standing will be tonight. Good defense. Oh, nice connection by the shots landing on both sides. And the chins could oh, nice connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Justin Gaethje! Oh my god! Gaethje with the rolling thunder knockout. I haven't even seen that happen in this game yet. He's definitely earned his spot in the next round. Next up, we got O'Malley versus McGregor. All right, we are underway with the stand-up only fight. As we remind you of the rule set here, no grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. His opponent knows where a nasty cut right on the ground. Oh, These two guys are trading huge shots. Just turned off the TV. Some 
work to do on that cut. He has been... His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to... Oh, massive, massive good plan. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. And as the fight... This is big. That's big. Back to his feet. Just over... Up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Oh, McGregor's. Oh, O'Malley with the front kick KO. He's moving on to the finals against Gagey. All right, boys, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. We got Gagey versus O'Malley. Now, granted, they're they're beat up. I I can't imagine this lasts longer than a round. They're they're barely moving at this point. Oh, Gagey with a vicious left hook to win the tourney. Overall, the damage system isn't too shabby. I thought it was going to be a little more violent and brutal than that, but at the very least, I'm happy to see EA carries over the cuts and physical damage per fight. I wasn't putting it past EA to not include that, so I'm really happy they did. And at this point, I just want to see how far we could push it. But if you liked the video, please feel free to check out my other videos on the channel. Thank you for watching. Take care. And new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Justin the Hulk.